In our next lesson on dynamic transform, we're going to learn how to make copies. And we're going to go up and select transform, dynamic transform. It says select the entities to move or copy. I'm just going to put a window around the entire model. We'll end our selection. And it wants me to select the location for the gnomon. And I'm going to pick the center of this base circle. Now what I want to do is take this and flip it down to the bottom. For that, I'm going to grab the X, rotate it around until my display says 180 degrees, click it in place. But I wanted to make a copy, so I'll click on Copy and we'll apply that. Now we have two individual solids. We have the original selection, the group, and the result of the transformation. Let's join that together to be one solid. So we're going to go to Solids, Boolean Add, and to this body I want to add this body. And we'll end that selection. Now if we look in our Solids History Tree, there's one main part. Now we're going to zoom out a little bit because we're going to do copies of this. So we'll go back to dynamic transform. I'll put a window around this entire part and my selection. To place the gnomon, I'm going to come over here and tell it I want to grab the origin. And we're going to tell it we want four copies. I'm going to grab the shaft along the x-axis and slide this out 12 inches. So now I have four more copies of the original and we'll OK that. Next I want to show you how to move these between two different zeros. Right now we have a world coordinate zero position. Let's go to WCS, View Manager, and what I'm going to do is grab this top plane and make a copy. And in the copy of this top, I want to establish a new zero at X10, Y10, Z10, but only for the tool plane. So for that plane, it has its own zero. Now let's reselect the top plane as our active plane and hit OK. So our regular world coordinate zero is right here through the brown crosshairs and our tool plane zero is over here through the blue crosshairs. So we're still in the dynamic transform command. It's still waiting for me to select entities to move or copy. I'm going to select all and pick all entities. When I hit end selection, it wants me to place the gnomon. What I'm going to do is come over here to this pull down and tell it to grab the origin. Now that's going to grab the current construction plane or world coordinate origin right there. And what I want to do is move all of these, so make sure move is selected. And I want to move those to the current tool plane origin. So when I hit move to origin, we'll hit apply. It's going to create new geometry for the wireframe. And now all of our models are based around the new tool plane zero instead of the world coordinate zero.